Coach, you guys have won now uh, 39 straight games. I know you don't like to look back, but to do that and to get to this point now, what's it taken? Because consistency is everything. This team is the definition of consistency. Yeah, no, uh, <laughs> thank you for saying that. I don't really actually know the streak, to be honest with you. We're just one day at a time, one game at a time, and, and one practice at a time. And we, we really live that model. Um, the way we practice, we don't think about what happened yesterday. We're thinking about right now, you know, it being in the moment. We talk about that with the team all the time. So uh, we're not really looking forward. We're just trying to stay in the moment and, and be the best version of ourselves at that time. Talked to the Alabama coach. He thought the offensive and defensive lines were the key to. He, f I talked to the Alabama coach, and he thought you, the play of your offensive and defensive lines was the difference. Yeah, no, the, the our, our big skills, um, they're outstanding. Um, this guy right here, he can speak more to that. But uh, we coach them hard, and they play hard, and and they're a great group. And you know, we can't go anywhere without them. They were outstanding today, coach. Hey, they, hey, the trenches, we, we live and die by those trenches. Um, if you see them, they're, they're hitting the sleds, they're competing every day. Um, they're, they're the heartbeat of our team. So we're just so proud to have those, uh, the work ethic of those girls and the, and the commitment of them. Yep. That's my coach. This is both of you. Allison Cahill, obviously. Allison Cahill is obviously, you know, a superstar in this league. Um, coaching her every day. What, what, did, you know, what do people not know about her that they should know? Um, the one thing that, that a lot of people don't know is that she's just a student of the game, um, and, and she loves this game. Um, I don't think she, she's going to have to get drug away from this game. Um, you know, so it's just like a Tom person, Brady. like a Tom Brady. But, but I think she can, she's going to try to go longer because if she feels like she started a little bit later. It's always been her dream and her passion. So every day I try to give her more, you know, like uh, just more input uh, to try to make her better. Um, and, and, you know, like I said, Allison is, is probably the top elite. And, and like I said, she had to do it a lot of different ways. Sometimes she runs it. Sometimes she throws it. Um, you know, she don't mind sharing the ball with other people and all the limelight. So I just love so much about her just uh, dedication. Yeah, to her. You know, I just want to speak a little bit to her leadership skills. Like she's a leader on the team. And the way that she gets her teammates involved um, in every aspect of like what we do, whether it's practicing, whether it's meetings, uh, holding her her teammates accountable, uh, she's right there, and um, you know she's the best in the business. One more for me. Uh, you guys now have a couple weeks to prepare for Canton. How much does the experience kind of help now these next few weeks? knowing what to expect, you know, knowing how to prepare them, and um, I guess just kind of what's the mindset? Well, I'll, I'll speak to the first part, and I'll give it to Coach. But, um, you know, our mindset is, is, is the same as it is every week. It's just another week. Uh, we, we treat every week like it's a championship week, like it's a national championship game. Um, and, and we approach it that way, so our approach won't be any different. Um, it's also very helpful that we've been there a couple times logistically, just in terms of you know operations and meetings and et cetera. Um, and, and our players have had some experience now, so um, it, it's a little easier in that regards. But the game's the game, the preparation's the preparation, and, and nothing's going to change there. One simple thing: our goal each week is to be one and zero each week. So it's very simple goal. Um, we we don't make the game bigger than it need to be. We just go out there and work on us. So we don't really work on beating the other team. We work on being the best every day, just doing what we do. So that's who we are, and that's who what we stand for all the time. It's basically just basically doing one play at a time. I, I just want to say this: like my job is really easy when I have a great assistant coach like this guy. He's really the head coach. He does everything. Um, we wouldn't be where we're at without him. So, coach, thank you very much. I love, you. I love, you. I love you, baby. Uh, Coach, in a game like this, um, with such a large lead early on, it could be easy to lose focus. How do you keep focus uh, when you're uh, scoring so well so early? Oh, that's easy. Um, really not easy, but it's easy. What we, like, when we say one play at a time and, and being in the moment, we truly believe in that and we coach that. And that's, it doesn't happen by accident. 
Um, and we're coaching. You, you can tell, like, on the sidelines, you would think we're down by, like, three scores, the way that we're getting after people. We're talking about details. Uh, and it, it, it doesn't happen by accident. So it's happening because we're consistent. We're doing it every single day. It's especially when the game isn't here, when practice, we're the same way. Uh, we practice a particular way that's really difficult, and it requires your, your full uh, participation and attention, right? We practice really fast, and details are important to us. And if you're slipping on the details, you're going to know about it. And we hold everyone accountable. And, and again, the coaches do a great job at practice. So when we get into the game, it's really easy at that point. Great, thank you. Thank you. All right, guys, you're heading back again. Uh, first and foremost, to get to this point after such a long season, how hard is it to not look ahead when you guys obviously know that you're one of the better teams in this league? Um, and now to finally get to that point, just kind of talk about the journey to get back here. Yeah, I think um, it's, not, it's not hard to not look ahead. I think that's our mindset from day one. You know, we start in January and we're, we're focused and we're worried about what we're doing in the preseason to make sure that we are prepared to play in the regular season. So I think it's really easy for us to stay focused at and be where our feet are. As Johnny says all the time, be where your feet are. So I think it was pretty easy for us to, to just prepare one practice and then one game at a time, just get 1% better every time we step on the field. Any other? Yeah. Obviously, at the end of the game, like it wasn't, you know, you, you cruised, but you guys seemed super happy at the end, you know, ship, 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 all that stuff. Like, obviously, this means a lot to you guys. And what are some of the emotions that kind of are running through your heads? And, and what can you say about, you know, the power of this team and how, how good they really are? Um, I think at the end of the game, you know, it comes to the realization that we've worked really, really hard. We've been practicing, 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 and instilling in ourselves that we still got to finish the job. So that's our motivation. Um, as far as the end of the game and how we handled everything, we right back to work. You know, we're, we got to finish this goal. Um, anything else? Questions? I got a question about the 21 Savage player. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, that that's I love that song. For obvious reasons, right? Oh uh, yeah, take so, it. Yeah, yeah. But you're number twenty one. It was twenty one points after the extra twenty twenty one time. It's like how you draw draw it up like in a in a game like this. You know, is that is that something you've done all year? You play that song or is that just something fun? Uh yeah. One of our um alumni, Schwartzy, she's on the ones and twos up there, so she she figures out all all our fight songs and all that type of stuff. So uh, she hooked me up with that with that song after any big play or scores. So yeah, it's exciting. It's a part about the, it's it's all about the entertainment and the game at the same time. So we were having fun with that. Yeah. Okay, you had, yeah. Um, you had a couple of beautiful runs today. Um, talk about how you found that space. Um, what made that enjoyable? You all were playing with joy today. Um, Talk about the joy of playing and the joy you're looking forward to um, heading into Canton. Yeah, I was actually just talking to Spring after the game. Like, man, you look like you were having fun out there today. Like, you you were out there rocking some people. Um, so, I mean, it's just yeah, a mentality. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I probably, yeah, I probably, I probably jumped the gun on that one. Um, but yeah, I think um, there's a lot that goes on in your mind uh, during during these plays, and I think from the outside watching, uh, it seems like it's a split second of uh, you know what's happening. But in in my mind, things are moving really slowly, and I think it's all about the preparation. You kind of like know where people are going to be before it happens, and so the the big run that I had. Um, I just remember cutting to the inside, seeing a lot of, of white jerseys and being like, I don't want to go in that direction. Um, and I had some great blocks by uh, Stephanie Pasquale and, uh, and KD. Um, so they opened up the sideline for me. And then I was just like, you know, trying to make sure I unhooked that trailer so I could get down, get down the sideline and beat them with speed. So, yeah, I mean, hats off to my teammates who set all of that up for me. So you felt like you had, you had space to I felt like it. it's weird, like what you see on film and what you see. Like I wish I had a GoPro on so you guys could like, see what I see. Um, but it, it looked like I had some space. It looked like I cut to the left, and there was a lot of people over there. And I was like, all right, we're gonna go this way. And I had some great blocks ahead of me, so made it easy. Okay. Well, Spring, let's talk. Oh, sorry, <laughs> yeah. Spring. Let's talk about some of those takedowns because um, some of your moves were really critical for today's game. 
I just play, you know, especially with Johnny and the defense beside me, you know, I just wanted to be the hammer today. You know, a statement game, be the hammer, not the nail. So I wanted to make it sure that my team know I'm right, I'm, I have their back, they got mine, and I'm going to lay the hammer every time, every single time. <laughs> I'm happy she's on our team. <laughs> hey, Allison, congratulations. How does it feel to leading your team to another championship game? Uh, it feels awesome. It's a privilege and, and hard-earned and feels like the first time every time. Never gets old and psyched for the people who have never been here before and equally as psyched for people who have. So um, it's time to finish the job and we'll keep working hard until it's done. Okay. Uh, the offensive line really gave you protection and set up the running game. Yeah, they're awesome. Um, we always say everything kind of starts and ends with them, and they were hungry for this one. Um, you know, Bama had some great players up front, tons of pressure all year, tackles for loss, sacks, but I, I think they take a lot of pride in who they are and what they do, and they keep us upright, make holes for the running backs, and we couldn't ask for more of them. They're a bunch of pros and a bunch of dogs. Allison, first of all, congratulations. Um, it was a long way back for you to get to this point again. Just kind of talk about the journey back, and now that you're heading back to another championship, can you kind of reflect on, you know, getting back to this point? Yeah, it was some trying times in the off season, and, you know, watched last year's championship from a scooter. Uh, couldn't have been, you know, prouder of the team, um, but grateful I was able to rehab and be ready week one. You know, that was my goal. And, yeah, I mean, I'll do whatever it takes, but, you know, my preference is to be on the field playing quarterback for the Boston Renegades. It's a privilege. And, you know, every year is different. And this group is pretty special. And, you know, one more to go. And it'll be a fun two weeks. We love the preparation. So two more weeks of preparation, culminating, you know, hopefully playing a great team from the West and, uh, you know, trying to complete our goal. Hi, Allison. Um, congratulations. Uh, well done. Um, you were generous in your distribution today, and you had a lot of opportunities. What were you looking for today? You know, we had seen, we watched their games against common opponents, because that was uh, the most relevant to us, and they came out in a different look. And, you know, at the end of the day, we don't care how we win. Um, we're agnostic, and I love that about us, and I was just saying to the team over there, you know, the receivers were happy to block on the edges and do their part in the running game. We don't care. We don't care about stats. We don't care about who gets, this, you know, X amount of touches. It's about what is the defense showing us and how do we exploit it, and Vern is awesome, Coach Crawford, at, at finding those those opportunities to exploit the defense and like I said we'll hand it off 50 times we'll pass it 30 times we don't really care it's whatever's the best play in that situation and it's going to culminate ultimately in a victory for us Great. Thanks. Thank you. it seems like early on like your running backs really open things up for you just you know what do they bring to the field yeah, I mean, we had the luxury of having really four great running backs. Um, Ruth and Titi kind of get most of the carries, but we're comfortable with anyone who comes in because they're running behind a great offensive line. And, you know, I think it looked like Bama came out a little bit more concerned with our passing game. And like I said, we don't care how we win. We don't care how we get yards. We don't care how we score. It's whoever's the best for the job in that moment. And, you know, passing lanes open up, we'll pass it. But, you know, like I said, we're agnostic. A win's a win. Positive play is a positive play, and nobody's selfish and caring about who gets as many touches. It's all about getting first downs and sustaining drives and getting in the end zone. Just one more for me. Does this ever get old for you? I know you've been doing it for a long time, but you know to see everybody out here and, and celebrating like this, just kind of take me through what it means to you. No, it never gets old. Um, you know, I think we take a lot of pride in our preparation, and the games are just the result of that. And so it's just really exciting when all your hard work pays off and you see the results of what you put in Monday, Sunday to Friday and have it all come together on Saturday, and we get to enjoy these moments. Our fans are awesome, um, and we'd like to put our best out in front of them because they deserve it for all the support they give us. 
And we know going into every season at this point, like a championship is our goal. We don't hide from that. But more importantly, we do the work to produce that result. Um, you know, I just said to these guys, we only get so far eight chances this year to play a football game. The majority of the time you spend practicing and preparing, and we love that. Like, we have a bunch of pros who are in their playbooks, studying film, taking care of their bodies, getting their workouts in, and Saturday is just time to show that off. Um, and yeah, here we are going to another championship and we'll put another great two weeks of work and preparation in and uh, hopefully it gets us to our goal at the end. Great job, Allison. Thank you. Great Thanks job. for coming. Thank you.